All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I got a message. Um, someone sent me a message asking me if I could um, do a quick tutorial and explaining how to swap symbols. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, well, the main thing is you have to have um, first. You have to have a symbol that already has um, um, other variations of of that that object in it. For example, um, for each of my um, each of the hand that I use for a character. I generally have like several different hand poses um, that I can switch for whatever expression I need. And I'll show it to you here. If I click on this symbol, the hand symbol, there you can see all these keyframes represent different poses of the hand. So if I just scroll through it, uh, you'll see them. So, you know, depending on whenever I need one, I can just easily select it. I'll show you how I do that. So I'll go back out to the model. So here it is. Whenever I want to switch it, all I do is, um, if I click away, you'll see it. I select the, the symbol, and then you go to Properties. And on the Properties, you go to um, the Looping setting. Now, <clears throat> you'll see here on the option, you have uh, three, three um, choices. You have Loop, Play Once, or Single Frame. Um, you generally choose Loop. If you have an animation within a symbol that you'd like played while the um, the timeline is, you know, while you're scrolling through the timeline, all the poses will be, you know, displayed. So, for example, I have 23 hand poses. So if if I had um, um, 23 frames highlighted while the while the animation is being played, his hand will be going through all 23 poses, you know. But um, to just have the, the, the characters, you know, stuck at one symbol, all you have to do is make sure you, under properties you select single frame. Then you'll see first, and there's a number. This pretty much means um, whatever, you know, hand pose that you want to select, that's what you choose. Currently, it's on the second hand pose. If I chose the first one, then you see that the hand also changes. And all I have to do is just simply um, uh, use the transform tool, which uh, the shortcut is Q. You can find it here. <clears throat> and then you'll be able to, you know, manipulate it how you want. So I could, you know, set it like that, or um, you know, set it like that. You can also move it as you as you wish. You know. And you can also um, uh, manipulate the size as well. So I'll just undo that. You know, it's pretty simple. So all you do is um, you simply select the symbol, um, go to properties, and under um, the looping setting, you just select the number um, keyframe that you want, and then it will just simply switch to that see i just selected six and it changes and that's it so if you want it to fit you just select it and you know drag it until uh, it fits how you want or you can rotate it you know like so and notice that the pivot point you set the pivot point about which you know the point where you want it to rotate so this is the pivot point and i make sure i put it right where the wrist, you know, the, the, the hand connects to the lower arm. And that's it. You know, and it's it's pretty it's pretty useful um being able to swap symbols because uh it it allows you to have um okay actually I'll show you an exam a good example of where I use it a lot. Um oh in the head for example. I'll double click on that. Yeah, I use it a lot when it comes to um, creating, you know, facial expressions. Try to do that. Okay, here. So if I click on the head symbol, um, I'll select the. Uh, I do it with pretty much all the facial features: the hand, uh, the face, um, the eyebrows, the eyes. I actually, the eyes is a good example. So. <clears throat> I'll show you how I swap symbols 
you know, to get different eye expressions. So right now it's, it has a pretty much, you know, he has like a, a, a neutral expression. If I wanted to make him uh, angry, which I already have um, all the symbols already set in, I would just select the eyes and then go to properties. And I, mean, I already have the, um, the symbol numbers already memorized. So the anger face would be two. See now is the eye actually changed in expression. If I wanted to make him really angry, then I'd use that three four five six if you notice you know it it changes different expressions and you know that gives a lot of life to the character so while he's talking you know you can have him you know change his high expressions actually I'll, I'll click into it so you can see how I set it up and uh, that's pretty much how it is so basically the first if you notice the first um, eye symbol <clears throat> It's just when the eyes wide open, and as you scroll through it, you know, see that it, it changes shape. You know, it's 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 pretty useful um, once you get a hang of it. Um, it's pretty simple, you know, and uh, you can use it to. You can use it in practically anything. You can use it for the eyes. You can use it um, for like for this guy's hat. You know, you can use it for the torso. So, say for example, you want to have him wear you know a different outfit. You can do that as well. You know, you can you can switch his um, uh, his arm. So, say for example, another example is if I highlight um, his lower arm and and hand and like rotate it like this. Sometimes in rotating the hand, it may actually look really awkward. You know, in terms of how it attaches to um, to his upper arm. So, what you could do is you could have another variation of his lower arm that actually fits the um the arm a lot better in certain poses and all you have to do is just click on it and then go into properties and then select whatever the number is so you know it's pretty simple um if you have any more questions feel free to send me a message and um you know i'll just do a tutorial or I'll, you know address it